John with Backcountry Adventure Gear. Today we're going to show you a great way to get to the powder in the backcountry. We've developed a simple low profile rack that will mount to a variety of snowmobiles. Today we're going to show, them how, show you how to mount them to a snowmobile. We've got a few different types of racks at Backcountry Adventure Gear that will mount to a variety of different tunnels. Today we're going to be mounting our ski racks onto a Skidoo 800 XP. The Skidoo differs from, say, the Polaris in that the cooling system runs down the center of the tunnel, whereas a Polaris Dragon has a cooling system along the edge. So you need to specify when ordering what type of machine you have so we can send you the proper racking system. Before mounting your ski racks, you need to check underneath your tunnel to make sure that there's no wiring or brackets that you'll be drilling into. When considering where to mount your racks to your snowmobile, have your skis ready. These skis will, or these racks will hold a variety of skis from fat powder skis to cross country skis. Just mount your skis into the rack with these easy Rasping buckles. Figure out where they fit with your bindings. And then place your rack up onto your snowmobile. Once you have them lined up, have an idea where you want them. I like to place the back one back as far as I can. And then your front one will be where your bindings start or end. With the binding like Dina fit, it's very narrow in the, in the middle of the binding. So if you have a shorter tunnel and you have that type of binding, you'll want your ski rack in the middle of your binding. I'm going to place these about here. What I'm going to do is just quickly mark with my drill where I want your bottom hole to go. Mark it into the aluminum. You don't want to drill with the bind or with the rack in place because you could melt the plastic. Mark your holes on either end. Once you have your point where you're going to drill, you can set your skis aside. Now that you have your holes marked, I've already pre-drilled my holes. You're just going to take your drill. A couple of tools you'll need to have with you. A drill, a screwdriver, a Loctite, crucial, your snowmobile vibrates a lot. And this helps hold your uh, screws in place. Or you have your, uh, all your hardware and screws will come with the ski rack. So once you have your holes drilled, you'll take your bindings off. With your skidoo, we have your back one made to set up higher keep your back of your tip of your skis up out of the snow more. You want that one higher and then set these down as low as you can get them so that your skis will have a better angle. Once your holders, holes are drilled, take your Loctite, Loctite your bolt, have your bolt and you have a T-nut. Slide your T-nut into the back hole. Pick a drill bit size that will allow that to only slide about halfway through that hole. Once you cinch it up tight, that will compress into your hole. Put your bolt through. Take your uh, screwdriver or drill. Line that in there. 
just snug that first screw in. Don't tighten it up because you may need to adjust it for where it is. Once you have the first hole, go ahead and mark your top hole. Again, mine's already pre-drilled. Don't drill with the plastic in it. Or you'll potentially ruin the, that hole. Take your next bolt. Lock tight it up good. Slide your T-nut in. They're both in and set. You can go ahead and tighten them up as tight as you can uh, get them. That's very solid. Once your back rack is on, proceed to the front. Put your T nut to the back. Lock tight your bolt, line that up, just lightly screw in the bottom, again take your drill, mark your top hole, I just usually leave it there, slide that out of the way, and go ahead and drill it. Once it's drilled, again take your bolt, Lock tight it really well. Once you have the hole drilled, go ahead and put your T-nut in. Take your drill. Go ahead and tighten that up. Once they're both aligned, you go ahead and tighten both of your bolts. A little trick that I developed Something to uh, consider a flaw on the skidoos is this tunnel is a little bit weak along the, the bottom edge because the metal ends straight. A good way to strengthen your tunnel and beef up uh, your rack system, what I like to do is take a couple of self-tapping screws. I drill through the back of your tunnel and into this back rail. And what that does is give substantial stability to your back rack. It's easier to come from your other side and drill through and into that tubing. of my rack and that gives this tremendous stability. You can even put them along the whole distance and give your tunnel, your entire tunnel, a lot more stability. So now that I have the racking system in place, mounting your skis, very easy. I like to put the tail end of my skis forward, giving your rider more room. What you do is have unlatch your uh, ratchet. Pick them up, slide them into place, position your rubber spacer over your skis. This rubber spacer is important because that's what gives these ratcheting uh, system its compression. Without it, your ratchet and bindings can easily get jammed up. With it, you don't need to over tighten it either. Just go until it's snug. Once your uh, racks and skis are mounted, very stable. Um, we also provide an additional ratchet extension 
for snowboards. Snowboards will fit in here. Double snowboards. You can get four snow snowboards on a double system really easy. You just pull this off, put your rubber on your extension, slide it on, and ratchet down your snowboard the same way. And those are the ski racks by backcountryadventuregear.com. Um, thanks for watching. Along with our racking system for skis and snowboard, we also offer a great way to get your gear to the backcountry, uh, be it a your trip or just your day pack, your backpack to the slopes where you're headed. Use the same ratcheting system, just a longer strap. Undo them. Take any size pack. If you have a, a bigger overnight bag, you can buy extensions to extend these pretty much as big as you want. Once you have your bag in place, it's as simple as pressing it down. It's always a good idea just to run it through a strap just in case a, your load shifts. Once you have it, you're good to take it anywhere you want over roughest trainings you can ride it's a great way to get your uh, bag to the backcountry thanks